Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Urvashi and in today's video I'm going to design uh, some of the last screens for this uh, particular concept and I will be starting the new concept in my next video. So let's get started. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a screen uh, in which users will add their addresses and then I will design a screen for the payment methods. So without any further delay, let's get started. You can follow along with me for the better understanding. So first of all, let's just start with the address screen where users will add their addresses. I will unhide the layout grid first of all so that I can align everything properly. For duplicating anything in an auto layout, you can select the one you want to duplicate and then press command plus D or, command or control plus D to duplicate any element. Okay, so this screen will be for first time users who are ordering for the first time from this app and for the old users there is a variation for this screen where the address will be at the top and at the bottom there will be payment methods. So I will create that variation as well so that you can understand how you can do that as well. So you can follow along with me if you are uh, the starting with the UI so that you can understand everything better so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this one and I will modify it so for duplicating it you can uh, hold option key or alt key and drag this to the next screen like this okay now I will just modify this
I have added this line just to remind our users that their information is saved with us and will not be shared to the third party. So let's proceed further. You can follow along with me. okay the screen is ready now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a screen for the payment methods and on that screen i will show the address at the top which is saved by the user and then i will show the payment methods underneath the uh, this addresses or what we can do here is if the user is new then when he click on the proceed to checkout this screen will show up and then when the user clicks on this uh, save this address then that uh, screen will show up and if the user is old he is using the app from uh, frequently so then when press uh, when a user clicks on this proceed to check out then he will be redirected to this screen this new screen that i am creating right now so follow along with me I am using the dummy address for this one. Here I will give an option uh, to add and change the address. Now I will give the option for payment methods. I 
I will change the icons afterwards. Just now I am just creating the layout. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to add an example where this drop down is open and user is selecting one of the options for the payment option. Okay, so I will create one example for that so that you can understand. So follow along with me for the better understanding. I will add a note here for the users when they are ordering something via cash on delivery. I will change the icons afterwards. This note is just to encourage people to use UPI for the uh, payment method. I will add one more thing here which is order information at the bottom that is price details and all those things and delivery estimate.
So I have created these two screens which is shipping address for adding shipping address and one for payment methods. So I have created most of the screens for this particular concept and in my next video I will try to create a new concept with new screens. So I hope you all guys enjoyed this video and if you did then do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such Figma tutorial for more such Figma tutorials and hit that like button and do not forget to follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn. Link is in the description and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye.